Light travels the fastest in the universe. It travels at a speed of 300,000 kilometers per second. That allows light to travel around the world up to seven times in a second. The term one light year refers to the distance that light takes to travel, whose distance is 9,454,254,955,488 kilometers. That's a pretty long number. The spacecraft is the fastest traveling sun probe in man made history. It travels at a speed of 692,000 kilometers per hour. If the craft wants to travel a certain distance of one year, it will be a good idea. It would take 1,581 years. But one light year is a very short distance when in the land of the unicorn black chakra, the closest to Earth at this point, 1,500 light years away from Earth, that suggests that the universe is vaster than we can imagine. It. What can we find in space, where it may seem impossible to travel at the speed of one light year per second? But it's already happening in this. And when we're already traveling at speeds faster than light. What will this vast universe reveal to us? Let's start walking, just a fraction of a second of travel you've already come out of our solar system and then, for seconds into the journey, we will arrive at the planets outside the solar system that are closest to us, the solar system. It is known as a planet that is very close to Earth and may contain living things. The star is in the Alpha Centauri system, which is a three-star system, or three sun systems. It is the brightest star of the night, and can be seen with the naked eye. Looking from Earth, after ten minutes of passage, we arrived at 22 BS. It was the first planet outside the solar system to be confirmed discovered by NASA's space television cameras. Which is likely to be the first planet outside the solar system. Humans can live on this planet, but with our current technology. It could take ten million years then humans can travel there for two hours to explore space. We'll arrive at the Magnesian Office of Fusion, or the Magnificent Pillar of Origin, it's part organic, where a huge cluster of gas and dust and it was Nabila who gave birth to so many different stars in space. After a five-hour journey, we arrived at Dao Stat Kansun. It is the largest star in the universe as it has been discovered today, 2,158 times larger than our sun, and it is also 500,000 times brighter than the sun. After a day of travel, you'll come out of our Milky Way galaxy, and you'll see the whole galaxy, since the event is in the foreground. After 29 days of travel, we arrive at Galaxy in Dawida. The galaxy closest to our Milky Way but it's one times as big as our Milky Way, and it's expected that in the next 4 billion years, our android galaxy and our Milky Way galaxy will clash and merge into a huge galaxy re. After 115 days of travel, we came out of a group of local galaxies with more than 50 galaxies in group, and the Milky Way and android. We're also in this group, which has a center of gravity, between the Milky Way and Endemira itself. After another three years of travel, we see our local galaxy group. It becomes part of a much larger cluster of galaxies. That's a cluster of young women's galaxies, 16 years into the journey. We finally flew out of the cluster of galaxies, and there was KR. A cluster of galaxies with more than 100,000 galaxies. We see our Milky Way as just that tiny spot. After traveling for more than a hundred years, we arrived at the largest black hole, known as Tun 6 by 8, an amazing and unimaginable object. It has a mass 66 billion times more than our Sun. That's more than all the dun of the stars in the galaxy. The Milky Way is also combined, and it's 400 billion kilometers in diameter. 
after a thousand years of travel. We finally arrived at our final destination, the edge of the universe, where, as of now, we were carelessly away from our home planet Earth, 46,500 million light years. Though this was only astronomers' predictions. Today's advances in technology can't go that far, and there's probably an endless expanse of space even if we travel at such a speed of one light year per second. We still can't get to the edge of the universe. That shows how small humans are. Once in this vast cosmic realm. If you feel like it. I also pressed the track and pressed the bell. Did you know? The James Space Television camera was launched into space on December 25 years of the 21st millennium. It aims to inherit the mission of the Hubble Space Television Camera. The James Sweet Space Television Camera has been sent to orbit the Earth, and it has become the eye of all mankind. To explore the vastness of the apostles beyond our imagination. The camera, James, is worth 340 billion baht.